Whether you're Gordon Ramsay or Culinary Challenged, you've probably used one of these before. In this video, we are going to use 3D animation to see how pepper mills work and how you can get variable ground size from the same mill. Let's first go over parts of the mill and then we can see how they all work together to grind pepper. This is the top nut. It's made of stainless steel and has a threaded hole in its base. This is the spindle handle. It's used to rotate the spindle, which drives the mill. It's also made of stainless steel, but with a plastic base to help it spin within the main body. The spindle passes right through its broached opening and ends at the bottom of the body. If we take a look inside the main body, we can see the components of the burr grinding mechanism. The male component of the burr mechanism is attached to the spindle. The female component is attached to the mill body. The bottom retainer plate is fastened to the body with two screws. It ensures the mill stays together when you are refilling the mill. When the top nut is tightened, this lifts the spindle up, tightening the grinding mechanism producing smaller grounds. There are also two stabilizing pins that keep the spindle in line and a spring that keeps tension in the top nut's threads so it doesn't unscrew during operation. Let's fill the mill with peppercorns and see how it works. As the spindle rotates, the male component does two things. The wide flutes first pull on the corns and push them towards the primary blades where the hard shells get cracked open. The crack corns are then fed into the secondary finer blades where they are ground to their preferred size. If you tighten the top nut all the way, this minimizes the space between the grinding components. This produces a very fine ground. If you unscrew the top nut, you can see how the size of the ground will increase. 